Der ist weg. First one of the day. So, a unique thing among kokanee anglers is oftentimes you're going to read reports about guys hooking up a lot of fish but losing up to half of their fish per trip. And I think a big part of that is is because kokanee anglers tend to run stock hooks. And I think if you were to just do one thing to increase your proficiency as a kokanee angler, it would be to upgrade your hooks. So a lot of kokanee manufacturers, for some reason, a lot of them tend to favor octopus style hooks. And a lot of them use the Gamakatsu octopus hook, which is what I have here on this rod. It's a decent hook, but I definitely wouldn't place it in my top five. Oops. Ah. Get in there. I definitely wouldn't place it in my top five kokanee hooks. Have I landed lots of kokanee on a Gamakatsu octopus? Sure. But there's a lot of other better hooks out there, and I'm going to go over some of those today. And, oops, and a double. And show you what the differences are. So on this left side here, I've got a octopus hook. On the right side here, I've got my number one kokanee hook. So we're gonna see how these two compare in terms of hits and losses today. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this guy off the hook. And hope these other sharper hooks hold up. Ah. Well, I'm putting this hook to the test here. Okay. All right. There we go. Two kokanee in the bag. I got identical rods, reels, dodgers. Everything's the same. The only thing I changed is the hooks, even the same lure. Ooh, fish. That's on my favorite hook. So today I'm going to go over my top five coking hooks and in which situations I would use these different hooks. So I'm not always going to use the same hooks in the same places, even though I do have sort of my favorite hook of all time. There's definitely different situations where different hooks are called for or might be available to you. And that's why I wanted to cover a variety of hook designs. Whoa. Feisty. There we go. I'm just using little crappie tubes for micro hoochies today. They work great. We can get a pack of those for like 99 cents. There we go. Another fat kokanee. Oh, there's fish. Oh, see, that was a miss. There we go. So first bite and a miss on the octopus. All right. So now we're one for two on the octopus. So number five on my list might actually surprise you because it's actually another octopus style hook. And that is the Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Needle Point. Now, typically I'm going to run size four for most of my kokanee fisheries, although there's some kokanee fisheries um, and hook designs that I might run size twos or even ones, depending on the size of the fish and the hook design. Now, one of the reasons I really like the laser sharps is they are widely available. You can find these at like Walmart, um, so you don't have to go to a specialty tackle shop to find them. They're ridiculously cheap, less than 10 cents a hook, you get like a pack of uh, 57 for like a couple bucks. It's crazy. They are so cheap. And I think they're actually sharper than the Gamakatsus. But what I like about them the most is if you compare them to the Gamakatsu octopus, the offset on these is much more extreme. That is, the eye of the hook and the point of the hook are offset strongly from each other. And reviewing underwater video of these, how these kokanee strike lures, they swipe at them. And having that offset hook, I think, increases your hookup ratio. I like using these, uh, especially in snaggy fisheries. I'm expecting to lose a lot of gear. I have some kokanee lakes that there are just tons of flooded trees. 
but those kokanee feed right in those trees or right above them and I lose a lot of gear. So, you know, I might tie a little bit lighter leader. I'll run these and I'm not going to cry if I lose my setup on these because, you know, for some other hooks you might be losing up to you know, almost a dollar worth of hooks every time you hook up. So, uh, this is a very good hook. These also happen to be uh, my favorite walleye crawler rig hooks too. They come in red, uh, black, uh, metallic, but they also come in a bunch of different dipped colors. So you can be very creative. You can get chartreuse and pink, purple, and all those things. So they're a really good choice for somebody in a snaggy fishery or a budget-minded kokanee angler who's looking to tie up a bunch of rigs. All right, we just went through a big school. I'm going to make a turn, see if we can pick one up. fish on the turn. Yep. Got him. Oh, I lost him. See? Are these octopus hooks? That's another loss for the octopus hook. Oh, there's fish. Oh, and off. Those octopus hooks. They are driving me crazy. There's a fish. <laughs> Jeez, 360. Come here, Kokanee. Gotcha. Finally got one on the octopus hook there after losing a bunch. Pretty little Kokanee. There's fish. So my number four hook on my list is the sickle hooks from Maruto. Now it's probably the most robust hook that I'll use for kokanee. I generally don't like thick wire hooks. So I generally reserve that hook for targeting kokanee in excess of 15 inches. I really like that hook for like really big trophy kokanee like Lake Roosevelt um, or other kokanee fishers where I expect 20 inch kokanee. Uh, but one thing that sets Maruto apart for me is just it has to be the sharpest hooks in the world. They are incredibly sharp out of the package. Uh, they also come in three different colors. Uh, they have a black nickel, a red metallic, and a very unique like light pink metallic um, and I like tying my flies on those my kokanee flies and I've got some you know monster kokanee on those hooks they are sickle shaped uh, so once the fish are pinned on them you pretty much got them okay there we go so far I've landed every single fish I've hooked on this hooks here on the right, whereas I've lost a lot of the fish on the octopus. Another kokanee in the boat. Now you can only get those Marutos. They come from Japan and they're very difficult to find. The only uh, distributor in the United States is Angler Innovations. Um, so you can order them online and I'll include links below to where you can order those. Again, I'm going to generally run size fours. There's fish. So number three on my list is the owner mosquito hook. Now it's very similar in shape to a traditional octopus hook. But what I like about the owner mosquitoes is they are a slightly thinner wire. So you get much better hook penetration because most of the time we're letting the boat set the hook. The fish is setting the hook on itself and that thinner wire just gets you better penetration. And you're going to see that trend as I go along here 
uh, with thinner and thinner wire hooks being my favorite hook for kokanee. Uh, they are very sharp, um, just as sharp as Yamakatsu owners well known for their sharp hooks. And they come in red and uh, black metallics patterns. And they're going to cost you about a quarter a piece. There's another kokanee. So far, number one hook of mine has not lost a fish. Whoop, fish. There we go. Don't fail me now, octopus hook. Feels kokanee like. Bouncing around down there a lot. So my number two hook is, we're starting to get really thin wire hooks here now, is the finesse wide gap hook from Gamakatsu. So that hook has two things going for it. One, it's pretty widely available. It comes in red, silver, uh, but it's got a really thin wire. Oh my God, see, there we go. Just lost that fish on that stupid octopus hook. Uh, but the nice thing about the finesse wide gap, it is a thin wire hook. It has a big gap between the top of the eye and the, the point of the hook. And that makes for really good hookup ratios because those fish come in sideways, they slap at that hook. And because you got that really exposed end of the hook, you get really good hookup. And you get good hook penetration because of the thinness of the wire of the hook. Another lost fish on the octopus hook. Uh, the finesse wide gap hooks aren't too expensive. Probably going to cost you about 25 cents a hook. So not bad. Fish. Oh, he just came off. That's another one. Oop, there's fish. Yes, got a phone bite. Oh, look at that. Lost it again. I'm telling you, those darn octopus hooks are just no good. Oop, there's fish. So the final hook, and my favorite hook, is the split shot drop shot hook. And that's what I'm running here on this right hand rod. It is an ultra thin wire hook. It has a very unique shape, uh, which makes it so it holds the corn really well. And it just seems like when those kokanee get hooked up on it, they stay on. Part of that's because that, that hook is such a thin wire, they just drive that thing deep into their mouth and they just don't come off. It comes in both a nickel black and a red, metallic red. There we go. That's a nice size kokanee, actually. And is absolutely my favorite hook. It's kind of hard to find, so it can be kind of expensive in that, you know, 60, 50 cent range per hook if you buy it in the small packs. But if you buy the bigger packs, you can find them for as cheap as about 20 cents per hook. Ski boats everywhere, right on time, nine o'clock. I finally lost one on this one. Had a bite, didn't hook up. The first time that's happened all day today on the split shot drop shot hook. Oh, there's a scale on the upper hook. That's just a slap in the face. Oh, there's fish. Whoa. Oh, he threw it. Look at that. Another lost fish on the octopus. I'm telling you, man, these hooks are garbage. Or kokanee, they just do not work. Fish.
Oh, he came off too. Do you see that? How many fish have I lost on this octopus hook today? Well, it's 9.30. It's getting really, really hot and loud out here with all the ski boats and swimmers and barking dogs. I'm going to head in. I've got seven fish and I only lost one fish on the split shot drop shot hooks, which is the hook I prefer to fish when I'm fishing for kokanee most of the time. Uh, I lost well over half the fish on my octopus hook, which is the standard hook that comes on most uh, kokanee tackle that you buy at the that's pre-made. So running those octopus hooks actually cost me a limit today. Um, I would have been done an hour ago if I had been running something other than these octopus hooks. Uh, I just was losing well over half my fish on those, which is something I hear from a lot of kokanee anglers. So do yourself a favor upgrade your hooks. It's very easy to do. You're going to be a much better and more successful kokanee angler. I will put links and descriptions to all of the hooks below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future content. And I will see you next time out on the water. Bye guys.